Well, I was always into music from a very young age. I started singing, well, voice training around 12 years old. Um, but I was always that girl, you know, getting the family together to sit down and hear me sing, like from the time I was five. <laughs> so I kind of was always the performer of the house. My uncle used to be in like a band. My dad sings. I think he can sing. He can hold a note. But um, definitely on my dad's side of the family. My um, cousin, Erica, she's also a singer. So, yeah. You are part of the Honey Jam alum. Tell me how you got involved in Honey Jam. Well, again, I saw my cousin Erica. She was always in it. And one day I was coming from music class and my, my teacher kept encouraging me. And also my mom. And I was like, okay, let me go do it. So I just kind of rushed to the audition and kind of changed everything from there. It was a really good platform for, you know, free publicity. So I really enjoyed it, actually. My favorite genre is actually reggae. I grew up listening to that from the time I was like, I remember four years old, my dad would play it in the house all the time. Like UB40, Bob Marley, Bears Hammond. Uh, but I started to get really into R&B and hip hop later on. I really like Janae Aiko. I like a lot of underground people. I listen, I don't know if people know like Leaky Lee and I love, hmm, I love the classics too. like. Ella Fitzgerald and Frank Sinatra. Kind of all over the place. Bob Marley, yeah. <laughs> I'm really surprised that I get um, good responses from people in Barbados, because I find a Barbadian crowd is probably one of the hardest crowds to please. But um, I find once you know who you are as an artist, it's, it's better that way, because if you present yourself in a way that you don't know what you want, it's kind of easier for other people to, you know, put their vision and, you know, what they think you should do. And that's kind of like the annoying and the difficult part, but I'm glad that I, I know what I want. Like, I know who I am, so I don't have that problem. <laughs> My mom, I told her she's, if I ever do like any shows, she's not allowed backstage with me because she fusses over me too much. <laughs> but yeah, they're, um, 100% supportive in what I do from the start. You know, people look at you and they say, oh, you have an image. You can be a pop star. You can be like the next Rihanna. No, I want to do what I want to do slowly and just, you know, slowly progress and make that nice chill music, put people in their feels. Have you tried your hand at songwriting? Yes. I write all my songs. I'm actually working on an EP right now. Hopefully I can bring out a video later on in this, this year. I'm working with Mohammed Hanif Hanif. Sorry Mohammed if I pronounced your name wrong. <laughs> um, he's one of the producers I worked with, a guy named Chris Rose. So yeah. Definitely working on an EP right now. I have a whole bunch of songs. This whole summer, I was just writing, writing. Actually, all my songs are written at 3 a.m. in the morning. Because that's, I don't know, that's where it all, I get in my head a lot at that time. So I just kind of write down everything. I mostly freestyle, and then I go back over what I sang, and then fill in the blanks, and. Yeah, I'm actually traveling tomorrow um, to go to New York and just get a different feel. Cause I'm going to a couple studios, a couple concerts, you know, just get the music vibe over there, see what's up. Three little birds sat on my window and they told me I don't need to worry. Summer came like cinnamon, so sweet. Little girls double dutch on the concrete. Maybe sometimes we 
feel afraid, but it's alright. The more things seem to change, the more they stay the same. Oh, don't you hesitate, girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, lay your hair down. Ha, ha, ha.